Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Hey Day. Now in today's video I'm going to be looking at the Bingo Derby prizes, the actual achievement rewards and talking about and expressing some of my views and feelings. Now I do like the rewards we get within the game. Now if we're doing achievements as an example, you'll end up with the little badges highlighted there on your house. You then click on your house, it takes you straight down to the achievement and you can claim coins and XP. I've got no issues with this at all. I like that option. The fact that I can get experience points and diamonds as well is very, very nice and it's good to be able to achieve these achievements. I'd like some more added in there in the future, so keep that in mind please, Hey Day Team. Uh, especially when it comes to some of the new activities as we level up within the game. And I'm thinking specifically more towards higher level players here, not so much anybody lower than level 100. Right, now for those of you who are doing the derby, it's all about claiming those prizes at the end of the day getting that status of uh, the high position or even a load of points. Now for me I don't really care too much about position in relation to the league or everybody within the world. I'm more interested in supporting my team doing the different derby tasks uh, whether they be the bingo ones like the ones at the bottom or regular tasks whether it's uh, claiming three lines, two lines or one lines or just getting those derby tasks done to get the points for my team so we can get the prizes. Now. Like I said, it's all about those prizes. Now with the bingo, you've got the maximum number of three prizes you can claim here. You need to weigh the pros and cons on doing the bingo or coming in the top three places. Now if you come in the top three, you'll get three prizes. If you do three bingo lines, you'll get three prizes. If you do the bingo and your bingo board is not giving you the prizes or the task you want, then you're going to fail to get two lines or three lines. Now remember, once you've done one line, the bingo is is over that's it but if you do get three lines you will be able to claim three additional prizes two lines two prizes one line one prize so work very very closely with your team and then those prizes will be located towards the front of your threshold rewards board that you can see just here so I kind of like that one so I'm going to claim a lot of prizes after this derby is over now, in relation to doing this derby, you need to think about it very, very carefully. So bingo is all about communication. It's all about deciding, do you want to be in the top three or do you want to go with the three thresholds and see what other options they give you? Now, if you're in the top three, you will claim prizes, uh, but you have no choice over them. There's no ability to pre-select what you would like to do at the moment. Now, I do wish that Heyday would give us the option in the future, but However, it's a, something that we're gaining, it's free of charge, it's a top three placement, so it's kind of cool. But if you are doing the derby and you're not worried about the top three, you do get the option to pick and choose. And that's one thing I do like. So whichever hood you are in, whether it's a big or a small one, it's all about choosing the tasks to get the lines. Now, as I said, once a line is done, you cannot get the second line or the third line. That connecting piece has to complete a line. Whether it's for one line, two or three, that's it. Once the line is done, there's no more. So please stop saying you can get another line or third line. You can't. Once the line's done, the whole board is shut down, and that's your prize list to be claimed. Now, when it comes down to these bingo tasks, okay, if you are going for maximum point 320, that's a lot of trashing. Now, this means you could be trashing some of the bingo tasks, which means that maybe you may not get the line. Now, you need one person controlling. You need one person saying, okay, don't do this task. You need one person deciding which one is the connecting piece and deleting that task off the board with everybody else. And it means not doing it. In my babyhood, we actually had one person who did a connecting task and was like no 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 so we got them to delete it which lost us the points in placement but allowed us to gain the three lines whereas with my babyhood we're not really worried so much about the bingo lines we're going more for the top three placement so each team has its own requirement on this everybody now, if you are doing the bingo and you're looking for 320, it's all about trashing and looking and trashing and looking. Choose your task widely because some of those tasks do not come up. They're, it just doesn't matter how many times you trash, 
they may not show up. Just like a regular bingo game, you could be sitting there and sitting there and sitting there, the bingo game is over and your number never came up. It's the nature of the game. A lot of people complain about this, but it's a game and that's basically the same as bingo in real life. I really hate it when I lose at bingo in real life as well, especially when the prize is very nice. Uh, but then again, it's okay. I can always go to the shop and buy the same thing sometimes if I wanted to, but free is always good. So, you've got to trash the task, you've got to pick and choose wisely. If you're going to go for the bingo, then you may not be in the top three. Uh, you need to think about the points of the task that's there as a bingo. If it's only for 50 or 60 points, I'm sorry, just delete it. Just look for a higher one and then just hope it comes around again later. Right, now, as you're watching this video, you're seeing what I've been doing in relation to my two teams. You've seen the prizes that came up. You've seen the rewards that are coming as well. Now, that's the second part of your decision. Once you do get these rewards coming up on your board, it's all about picking and choosing. It could be expansion materials. It could be produce. It could be the puzzle pieces. It could be the permits, the vouchers, the diamonds. Uh, everybody has their own way of thinking. Now, my question to you guys is, what's your preference? in relation to the prizes and are you happy with them? Now I love the fact we've got new decoration. I think it's a wonderful way of people being able to win the decoration within the game. It's a nice achievement. As you level up in the leagues you get more prize options for the actual uh, decoration choices. But my only issue I think with the actual derby prizes is the quantity. Now I put a lot of time and energy and effort into doing this. And even though I do like the prizes, one is kind of like disappointing sometimes, like one shovel. Now a shovel is good, okay, I can use it in the mine, but five shovels would be better. Now I'm not really greedy, I think maybe ten shovels would be fantastic, even twenty would be even better, but I know that's not going to happen. Now, I do know, like with the events, the diamond quantities have kind of increased to 10 diamonds in the last few events. I love that fact. I think it's perfect, and I think it's a really good direction to go. But I also think maybe the rewards for the derby need to be tweaked as well now. Now, like I said, I love the fact that we get the decoration, and I'm happy just to get one of those for the rewards. But when it comes down to some of those other items, like the expansion permits, the tools for expanding the barn, the silo, uh, the items you're using for your land, okay, the vouchers that we're getting within the game as well, I would like to see these quantities increasing as well. Now, if you're in the top three, you can claim some wonderful prizes. If you don't get in the top three, well, then that's just too bad. You lose out. And I know the quantities there can be high. But it's these ones here. Now, sometimes it is really good. Like you'll see there, three and four. Very, very nice indeed. Not going to complain. <laughs> but then it kind of goes down again to like one and two. And I'm thinking like, no, 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 no. So there's very much of an imbalance, I think, in relation to the quantities we're getting. Uh, I'm greedy. I want high. I'd like to see a larger quantity there. It would certainly make choosing a little bit more challenging for me as well well and also easier for me to actually pick and choose because I want to upgrade certain things or I want to do specific tasks within the game. Okay, all right. Hey, Dave, this is my request. Please change this. Now, you guys, what do you think about the Derby? What do you think about the bingo prizes? What do you think about the actual regular prizes? Let me know in the comments below, because I really would be interested. You never know, the Hey, Dave team may check out the comments as well, and they might just say, hey, that's a good idea. Let's implement that as well. So, do comment below. Now, in addition to commenting, this is the end of my video, and you've seen what I've done and what I've claimed, and you've seen and heard my thoughts as well. But I would like you to actually subscribe to my channel if you would like to. Make sure you hit that notification button as well and do check down below in the video description. There's some links there that you might want to hit up and do follow me on my social media as well. But either way, see you guys within the Derby. Take care, have fun and see you later in my live stream. Goodbye now.